Hi, my name is Ilona, my pronouns are she, her, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about cholangiocarcinoma. Today is World Cholangiocarcinoma Day, and this is the cancer that I have. Uh, cholangiocarcinoma is a cancer of the bowel duct. It can develop inside or outside of the liver, and I have intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma, which means mine is inside the liver. I was diagnosed in 2020 when I was 39, and it's a rare cancer that usually gets diagnosed in um, older people, but we know um, also that it gets more and more diagnosed in younger people or people my age, like middle-aged, and scientists don't really know why. Uh, the symptoms are quite vague as well. In my case, it was a bit of tiredness, a bit of back pain until I developed jaundice and had to go to A&E. It usually is diagnosed in advanced stage um, and that means that not every patient can have surgery to remove the cancer and that's the only curative treatment for cholangiocarcinoma. I had my surgery, I had a little bit of chemotherapy. Um, unfortunately, cholangiocarcinoma is also known uh, to have rapid recurrence, so mine came back uh, last year. Uh, the treatment's quite limited and the prognosis is generally quite poor. As an LGBT person, as a lesbian, um, I'm quite lucky because I've been fully respected. Um, my identity has been respected in the cancer centre where I'm treated. Um, I know that it's not the same for every queer person in the UK, um, but I, I'm quite lucky to have this um, additional stress, for example, associated with coming out it's just not there. Um, I'm also very lucky because one of my colleagues uh, told me about Live Through This and I was able to join the peer support group uh, and it's really great to have that support group of people that shared similar experiences um, as queer people living with cancer or having cancer experience um, and we can really understand each other better and yeah listen to each other and share our stories so it's been yeah really uplifting and great for me